In this video, we're going to be constructing perpendicular bisectors in three different ways. The first one is bisecting a segment. So in this case, I'm going to open up my compass so that it is about three quarters the length of the line segment that's given, and I'm going to draw an arc. So if you look carefully, I have an arc drawn. It's almost a semicircle, uh, and then I'm going to poke at the other end of my line segment, and I'm going to draw another arc here. So in this case, I have two intersecting arcs. And when I connect them, again with my straight edge, I'm going to realize that what I've just done is created the perpendicular bisector. Please make sure you're always using a straight edge. So the interesting thing here is that in this case, this would be my M or my midpoint. I'm going to call this A and B. And I know a couple of things. First of all, AM is congruent to MB. So that is the perpendicular bisector. And I also know that this is in fact a right angle. So if I label this C and D, I could say that AB was perpendicular to CD. So that's what we call a perpendicular bisector. Remember, you're going to open up your compass so it's about three quarters the length of the segment and draw two big arcs. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is actually what we call a perpendicular bisector through a point on the line. So this is a rather interesting one. And the first step that I'm going to have in this case is I'm going to poke at the point that's on the line, and I want to cross the given line twice in two different places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make those two. And then from here, you're basically going to follow the construction that we did earlier, which is a perpendicular bisector. And we're going to use A and B as my new points, A and B. So I'm actually going to label this A and B. So using the last compass construction, I'm going to poke at B. I'm going to open up my compass so that it's about three quarters of the way. And I'm going to make long, swooping, big semicircle arcs, one from B. And then I'm also going to do it from A. And I'm going to connect it like that. Now, when I have the intersection of those two arcs, if I have, in fact, done it correctly, I should be going through that midpoint, in this case, M. So that is another perpendicular bisector through a point on the line. And then the last example that we have for this video is a perpendicular bisector through a point not on the line. So one of the things that you want to do is you want to poke at the point, and we need to draw a compass arc or an arc that crosses my line twice. So if you look carefully, I made what I like to call a smiley face, and I have crossed the line twice. And then I'm going to do the exact same construction almost that I did in the last one and the previous one, and I'm just going to use the intersections as my A and B. So I'm going to poke it at, at B in this case, and I want to be three quarters of the way. It doesn't matter how big the compass is, but make sure you're about three quarters of the way. Half would be too small, and past it would be too big. But I'm going to make a long arc extending around it, almost a semicircle. And then on, when I poke at A, I'm going to do the same thing. And again, if you've done it correctly, when you connect this, the intersection of the arcs, as well as the point, should all be what we call collinear. They should be on the same line. So it's a perpendicular bisector through a point not on the line. Thanks, and I'll see you later.